Harbin SH-5, developed by China's Harbin Aircraft Manufacturing Corporation, is an amphibious aircraft primarily designed for maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, aerial firefighting, and air-sea secure operations. Although production of this versatile platform was limited, it continues to serve as a testament to China's efforts to develop an indigenous amphibious flying boat for maritime duties during the Cold War. The SH-5's origins trace back to 1968, emerging from the Objective 317 program, which aimed to create a capable maritime patrol aircraft for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Drawing inspiration from Soviet-era flying boats, the design incorporated a bow-like hull for water landings and takeoffs, with a high cockpit for improved visibility. The aircraft's shoulder-mounted monoplane wings housed for Dongan WJ 5A turboprop engines, H driving four-bladed propellers. The SH-5's amphibious design also featured a retractable wheel undercarriage, allowing it to operate both on land and water, granting it exceptional versatility. After years of development, the SH-5 took its first flight on April 3, 1976. However, it wasn't until 1986 that the aircraft officially ended service with the People's Liberation Army Navy, with production spanning from 1984 to 1985. In total, only seven aircraft were built, one prototype and six production models. Despite its limited numbers, the SH-5 fulfilled several key roles in China's maritime defense strategy throughout the later stages of the Cold War and into the 21st century. The Harbin SH-5 is notable for its unique design, which combines features of a flying boat and a traditional maritime patrol aircraft. It measures 127.6 feet in length, with a wingspan of 118 feet and a height of 32 feet. The aircraft's hull is designed for water operations, while the tail unit features a twin vertical fin arrangement to improve stability during flight. For all water stability, the wings are fitted with underslung floats. Power is provided by four Duncan WJ-5A turboprop engines, each producing 3,150 horsepower, giving the SH-5 a maximum speed of 345 miles per hour and a cruising speed up to 180 miles per hour. With a range of up to 3,000 miles, the SH-5 can conduct long-duration patrols, making it well-suited for maritime operations. The aircraft's service ceiling is 33,630 feet, providing excellent altitude performance for a flying boat. With a payload capacity of 22,000 pounds, the SH-5 is capable of carrying up to 13,000 pounds of armaments. This includes a variety of weapons for maritime warfare, such as anti-submarine warfare torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, depth charges, naval mines, and conventional bombs across for external hardpoints. In addition to its combat role, the SH-5 is equipped with advanced avionics, including a Doppler search radar and a magnetic anomaly detector essential for detecting submarines. The SH-5 was initially designed for maritime patrol and anti-submarine warfare, reflecting the People's Liberation Army Navy's need to counter underwater threats in the vast waters surrounding China. The aircraft's ability to carry anti-submarine warfare torpedoes and depth charges made it 
an effective deterrent against submarines, where its long range allowed for extensive patrols over the South China Sea and other critical maritime areas. Over time, the H-85 was adapted for other roles. The SH-5A variant, for example, was modified with electronic intelligence equipment, enhancing its capabilities for maritime surveillance. One aircraft designated PS-5 was outfitted for aerial firefighting, showcasing the platform's versatility. While the SH-5 had a relatively short production run, it saw decades of operational use with the People's Liberation Army Navy. As a maritime patrol aircraft, it was deployed to monitor Chinese territorial waters, detect submarines, and perform search and rescue operations. The SH-5's amphibious capabilities made it particularly valuable in air-sea secure missions where the aircraft could land on water to recover survivors or provide assistance. Despite its robust design and capabilities, the SH-5 has not been without its challenges. One notable incident occurred in 2013 when an SH-5 was lost in a crash, tragically claiming the lives of all its crew members. This incident highlighted some of the inherent risks of operating aging aircraft, even ones as capable as the H-85. Although the H-85 remains in limited service, it is gradually being phased out in favor of more modern platforms, such as the AVIC TA-600 amphibious aircraft. The TA-600 is expected to take over many of the roles previously performed by the H-85, offering improved performance, more advanced avionics, and greater operational flexibility. Nevertheless, the H-85 has earned its place in the history of Chinese maritime aviation as a reliable and versatile workhorse.